Hey guys, I'm Jamie, the TV editor here at Waroni, and welcome to Waroni's weekly wrap up for week two. This week, Anusa and Parsa held a sit-in outside University House to coincide with the second anniversary of the release of the AHRC report into sexual violence on campus. The participants planted black flags in Cambry and read out a progress report that condemned the ANU's progress on the issue. In other news, Anusa voted to support the August 9 climate strike, which included supporting students skipping class to attend. Nice. Julie Bishop has been named the university's next chancellor. The former foreign minister is the ANU's first female chancellor. The ANU Liberal Club has announced their Anusa election ticket. The policy priorities of you for Anusa include recalibrating the Anusa budget to greater align with student needs such as affordability and practical services. And in tram news, there have been no reported incidents this week, so well done, Canberra. You didn't walk in front of a red train. Excellent. All right. Hey guys, uh, thanks again for joining me for the news. It was a good week this week, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so semester's going pretty well. Enjoying classes, TV's very good. Got a lovely team. Um, yeah, so really can't, really can't complain. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you sure? You <laughs> like we chat, like we normally would. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's man! Clearly, you don't have a lot of experience chasing people, Claire. <laughs> <laughs>